Go ahead and try this ACT science question. Based on figure one, material A's temperature increased the fastest during which of the following time intervals? This is about rate of change, right? In which intervals did this increase at the fastest possible rate? So let's go ahead and see what we got. In this region from looks like two to 22 seconds, which would cover B and C, notice there's no change in the temperature at all. It stays pretty much flat at 10. No change at all. This has got a rate of change of zero. So we'll say the delta, delta T we'll say, delta meaning change. The delta T, the change in temperature is zero. There's no change in this interval. So there's no way the temperature is going to be increasing the fastest in these intervals, in these ranges. On the other hand, notice between zero and two, which is this, and between 22 and 24, we do have some increases in temperature. And now we want to know which is going to have the fastest increase. You might be able to just look at it and say, hmm, look, this red line, this increase in the gas temperature is seems to be much bigger than the increase in the temperature of the liquid, just based on the length of the line. And yeah, that's true. But why would that work? How does that work in actual kind of quantitative practice? So the rate of change in this case is going to be the change in the temperature over the change in time, right? It's the degrees per second is your rate of change. So we can compare both of these along those lines. So notice the uh, all liquid region, it's changing 20 degrees in two seconds. So that's going to be 10 degrees per second. On the other hand, the gas is also changing in two seconds, but it's going from, let's say 10 to about 50. So that's going to be a change of 40 in the temperature in two seconds. So it's 20 degrees per second. So much more significant, in fact, double the increase in the temperature in this interval. So therefore, the answer is going to be choice D. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.